Dive into an action adventure that tests your skills in a sprawling battleground. Siege of Orison is the biggest dynamic event to hit Star Citizen, and some of the most fun I've ever had in game. Welcome Immortals, I'm Vici Deum. Here are the top 5 best tips you need to know to start playing Siege like a pro. Number 5. Start naked. Skip the gear and save your wallet. It's best to start off naked. Not only will you find everything you need at the event, but it'll get you there quicker as you can sprint faster and for longer without any armor. On Solanke platform and throughout the levels, bodies litter the ground, both from security and pirates. Take cover beside a corpse and drag their undersuit onto your character. This will automatically equip everything and get you right into the action. If no weapons are close by, sprint past and enemy groups until you find one lying on the outskirts. You'll also find ammo, food, and weapon crates which you can use to resupply. Check behind elevator lobby desks and bars for these. While you can find med guns, only the Presley mission containers have them filled with ammo, so grab med pens from the armored guards that drop. If you need to revive teammates, just right click to administer. It's even quicker than fiddling with a med gun and will keep you out of the enemy's crosshairs. Number 4. FS9. Forget everything else. This is the only gun you should be using during this event. It's accurate at a distance, reliable when hip firing, and has the ammo capacity to ensure you're never stuck in a sticky situation. Heavy armored pirates during the event will carry either the BR2 shotgun or the FS9, so look for them and loot their two ammo clips even if the count says zero, as this is just a bug. But don't stop there. You'll want to grab a P4 AR and put the compensator in your inventory. You can use the scope as well, but I prefer the C54 red dot sight. Take both and equip them from your inventory onto the FS9 for a devastating combination. This will make your gun more accurate and conserve ammo in the process. And keep an eye out for ammo boxes as they'll often have a large supply as well. And equip heavy chest armor to carry the most rounds. But never manually reload by hitting R. This will store the low ammo clips back onto your character and can be difficult to remove and dangerous in a firefight when you swap to those clips. Instead, point your gun in a safe direction and fire off your entire magazine. This throws away the ammo and grabs a fresh mag. Use this anytime you're low before entering a fight, so you're not stuck reloading while under fire. If this happens, your character moves slowly in a lot animation, and you can easily be caught outside cover and quickly killed. Number 3. Third Person. Your enemies have perfect vision and aimbot. Give yourself every advantage possible when pushing platforms. Using third person is a fantastic way to not only check corners but scan for objectives, prevent flanking, and get around the effects of damage states like blurry vision and audio distortions. While F4 is the default key, I recommend switching this to a mouse button as this allows you to quickly swap between camera angles, but use the F key anytime you need to get to first person. Just be careful not to hold it down as this opens a small menu. It'll take some time getting used to, but it'll give you perfect tactical presence and situational awareness. Play around with the distances between the two cameras to find your sweet spot. Holding F4 and plus or F4 in the mouse wheel adjusts the field of view and camera distance. I prefer one closer and one further camera and actively swap between them. The closer camera is perfect for pushing corners and the farther camera is great at giving a bird's eye view. Just don't forget to check your targets before you engage, as you'll lose the friendly blue triangle markers while you're in third person, and you don't want to down another teammate. Number 2. Declutter. Whether you grab something by mistake or just want a clean inventory to carry the essentials, decluttering is the key. But you'll quickly find most areas are too cluttered for you to drop items. To get around this, drag the items into your character's hands and then hold F to look down and drop the items from there. This bypasses the restriction for any items that you can hold. If you need to get rid of armor or if you're having trouble with a particular piece, you can find certain places where where it's less cluttered. At the start of each platform, atop landing pads, and beside and inside the shuttles, you'll often have a clear space where you can leave your loot without this error message. So toss your trash and get back to the action.
number one. Follow the glow. You've killed the lieutenants, disabled the jammers, piloted past turrets, and survived the randoms. But now you're stuck in the labyrinth of containers and don't know where to go. Fear not and follow the glow sticks. After killing Mendo Ren, you need one last container to finish the mission. Look for the purple glow sticks littered around the area. These take you directly to mission containers, or show you the puzzle paths so you can access the more difficult ones. Using third person makes this even easier, but don't forget to take your time and watch out for enemy spawns. These are the top 5 tips to make you play Siege like a pro. Have you enjoyed this event? What bugs have you encountered? And what tips did I miss? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you liked this video, here's another I think you'd enjoy. Or if you want to watch more of these videos, here's the playlist. Either way, thank you, and I look forward to seeing all of you out there in the verse.